Thank you everyone to be here in the January Power Collab editions. Today, my topic would be more around the Power Platform Admin Center, the new look, new feel, and the new functionality. So let me just share my screen and then show how we can achieve that. Now, if you can look to my screen uh, on your Power Platform Admin Center, you have on the top right side, the try the new admin center. So you just need to toggle this. The moment you toggle this, the complete window would be refreshed and you will get a more cleaner, more nicer, more attractive, lightweight admin center. I really like that one. And um, it doesn't mean that you lose your functionality, what you had in the older admin centers. You have all of the functionality available there. Let's have a quick walkthrough. So you are on the home screen and the home screen. The good part is you can add the cards or remove the cards. So just an example, I would like to add this documentation card and it would be added to the space which is being available here. So now you see the documentation card has been already added. It is totally fine to remove any of the card which you think you don't like it or you don't need it for the specific landing page. Apart from that, you already had the link for the recent improvement and the coming soon where you will see the review for the future plans. Now, the next step is basically the action tab and in the action you will get a recommendation which you need to take like that's what it is an action. So you have to take an action there and right now you see the recommendation is secure agent by setting up the DLP policies of the Copilot Studio items. So this is the action which people has to take it and th then you can also see the severity here. You can also have a look for the action history. Right now there is nothing, but if you have some of the action which you have already taken in the last 120 days, you will see the list of label here. The next one is the manage. It's basically you can manage your environments. You can manage your environment groups. Then you can also do the tenant setting. So all of your tenant settings configuration will be available here. Data, you can set the on-premise data gateways, your virtual network data gateways, and any of the permissions related with that. Then the two products uh, right now available for one is the power pages. So in the power pages, you have your own sites. There you will see the complete data, like uh, all of the analytical, all of the static the statistics around there, how many sites are there, the public site, trial site, production, suspended, and then you have a government control, disable anonymous access, generative AI. So you can control even enable external authentication provider. You can control everything from the same window. Then you can also go to the analytical preview, which is in the preview right now, but you can see all of the data. You can select the environment from here. If you have one or more environment available, you can choose any one of them. The moment you choose uh, or you opted for any environment based on the site ID, you can just go and select any of the site available. A bit tricky because um, as a user or as an admin, you probably don't know the GUIDs that this GUID is related with your site, which site ID. But right now this is available for you. So you have to be very cautious and you, how you can get the GUID we can just cover probably in one of the another session. But right now, if you choose uh, respective site IDs from there, you will see the relevant data accordingly. The next one is the Dynamic 365 apps. And here you can enable, disable or toggle any of the application which is available in the Dynamic 365 environment. Now, after the manage, you have monitor where you can monitor the overview, monitor the logs, and then you have a section for the power apps. If you quickly move to the very important aspect here, the security, because we want a secure environment to work on. And here the score, it is in the preview. So once you calculate the scoring, it take around 24 to 48 hours, which I did it a um, couple of hours back, but you have to wait for minimum 24 hours to 48 hours uh, for the results. It might take a bit longer. It might take a bit lesser based on how dense your environment is. Then you have some of the learning links around the security on Power Platform, build and run the safe solutions on the Power Platform and compliance in the data privacy. Apart from that, you have a network security, so you can move all of your IP firewall, uh, firewalls, IP address based cookie binding as your virtual private network. If you open any one of them, mostly are related with your uh, CDX Power Platform Learner environment, which is one of the Dataverse environment, and then you can have a look against that one. Then you have an access control, so you can go for tenant isolations, uh, environment security, and so many other prospective here. The last two is more important because you can provide the guest access, you can control that, 
and also you have the admin privileges like who managed the admin and the access of the data was environment and you can define their role the threat detection is also uh, like the auditing tile is new so it create all of the data was log data to capture uh, when the changes are made by whom which user what time and so many other information then we have a compliance where you can go for the customer lockbox and the customer manage encryption key. If you don't know the customer lockbox, then basically it's providing the access to the Microsoft support team that they can have a look for your environment or not. So this kind of the uh, privileges, you can control it from there. Then we have a power pages here. So in the power pages also, you can manage all of the security related information directly from one tab. So you can do the deep scan. You can make a quick scan from here and you have the complete um, results available in the different tiles really wonderful i really attractive and i really like the the view here as well as the outcomes in the deployment you can make uh, the deployments uh, you can monitor the deployments up against of your pipelines catalogs and the overview we have the three tiles right now it can be added or there can be further tiles added more then we have a licensing so in the licensing you can look for pay as you go plans different capacity add-ons from the legacy licensing module. Then you have a different products available. So suppose if I just need to look the power pages capacity, then I can have a look for that. Apart from that, you can see what kind of the license type. Um, if you have any license type pay as you go and the different authentication capacity or anonymous capacity because the site is not used. It's a trial instance, so you won't see a much relevant data here, but on your running instances, you can definitely have a look for that. Copilot Studio. How you manage your billings messages and sessions everything you can download the reports and it's a provide a very nice 360 degree view of the whole environment uh, audits in the reports same way we have a, a licensing related with the data was so in the data was you can have a look for that okay of what how many spaces are available um, in terms of the data uh, like a database or the data was files for the logs um, if you want to purchase the further licenses, you want to manage the capacity or the billing plan, so you can make it there. Few options, you cannot do this because uh, those can be managed by the Microsoft directly. You have to engage Microsoft into that one, and then you can select the environment, and based on the environment also, you can um, get the respective result sets. Then you have an FNO, so it's the same thing. You can get the licenses related with that one. The Another aspect here is the co-pilot really wonderful um, you will see some of the related information like the uses how to make a like from the governance perspective settings and the some of the power app settings also there power automate setting content moderation so this all the things you can directly get it from here with the different or uh, in combination with the different products uh, available in the power platform umbrella then at the end of the day you have support really wonderful uh, tiles available there because an example if you would like to go and see the known issues for uh, my power pages so i just quickly go and look the known issue for the power pages which is definitely not resolved but in the active state so the benefit with that i can have a look for all of the issues which is currently going on and has been already taking care of the microsoft support team but uh, or before using my support request i really don't want to log any issue which is being already communicated to the Microsoft and Microsoft is working on that because it's not worth. I should wait and have a look for this that OK, what are the status, uh, status there? The moment it resolved, it will be shipped in the next uh, releases uh, to the end users. And then we can always look for the service health. If there is any issues there, then I can also look for that one. I think that's all for the uh, that's all for today. Uh, Keep looking to our channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please do that and share the videos within your colleagues, with your friends. And thank you.